Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a glass shader in uh, 3ds Max and V-Ray by using V-Ray. Uh, uh, for V-Ray, we are not going to use any kind of ready-made uh, shader. We'll use a basic V-Ray shader and uh, let's see how we can uh, create a realistic looking glass in uh, Max and V-Ray. So, first of all, I'll just uh, uh, create one object uh, from extended primitives that stores not because uh, that's uh, one of the best for uh, reflective or refractive materials uh, you can use also a uh, different objects and for creating uh, the base you can use a, a plane or here I am going to use another V-Ray object that is a V-Ray plane which will uh, very uh, easy use to handle I and mean, use you, you don't have to uh, create a entire plane or something for creating that you can use uh, this video plane for any kind of presentation and everything so that's my uh, object and my very plane and uh, I'll definitely put uh, one very light because it's always happened that a very shader or very materials always uh, work very nice uh, with the very lights and it produces a very nice effect and uh, the most uh, convincing and the most uh, useful way okay so now if I render you can see a very basic uh, output of, of the image it's coming out it's uh, almost uh, blown away because of the uh, intensity of the light so I just have to reduce it let's just select the light go to the modify panel and you just uh, reduce this multiply this, uh, the default multiply is 30 you can use uh, around 10 but that is uh, there is no uh, it's not an issue because that is absolutely up to you how much uh, light you want okay it's it's better now yeah okay so now we can move on so first of all uh, go to the material editor but before uh, going to the material editor you have to understand that some sometimes in the material list uh, if you click on the standard you won't find the V-Ray uh, materials over here the reason is uh, that you are not doing switch on the V-Ray uh, render as a, as a, as a uh, renderer so if you are using a V-Ray for the first time the default scanline render has to be changed to V-Ray advance so now you will get your uh, materials over here uh, click on the standards and you will get the video material over here so double click it and it will replace the standard material from there so uh, <clears throat> now uh, just select the object and uh, apply it now for video it's very very uh, specific and uh, very straightforward steps that it's always have the refraction and on the refract color you just have to pull it down that's it because that's your glass material has been created index of refraction I will come uh, because index of refraction it actually depends on what kind of material you are, are produce you want to produce if you want uh, a normal glass or water or, 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 or any kind of diamond uh, like diamond you, you, you have to use 2.4 or something because that is the main uh, calculation that uh, we usually get into the real life so uh, index of refraction is very important so uh, refract just uh, pull it down to the white because that's uh, that's what uh, the output will come if you on the background you can see this uh, refraction is always happening so that's it I just uh, apply it and hit render now you can see the uh, output straight away that's it but there are some uh, some things that you want to really want to you know uh, put in into it first of all uh, the the black portion now what is the what is the black portion is coming why this uh, these are all coming out the first uh, important part is that if you are using using any kind of uh, uh, reflective or refra uh, sorry uh, ray trace material ray trace kind of material you have to you should use a uh, reflection also but right now I'm not going to uh, use reflection uh, on my first first step the first step I have to um, reduce these black uh, things because that has been uh, subtracted uh, from the environment there is no environment now for the for the for the uh, ultimate output or, or for the kind of uh, very good results you have to put an environment you can use HDR or any kind of uh, image for that now 
for creating that I just uh, select another shader and from the get material I'll use V-Ray HDRI because uh, it can use uh, a normal uh, uh, JPG image that is also due whereas uh, you can I'm, I'm going to use a normal um, JPG image uh, um, in the HDRI V-Ray HDRI just browse that is okay so open it okay now by default uh, the mapping type is uh, generally set to angular and that's why you can see this kind of uh, output I just got this image from Google I uh, just Google it and use any kind of uh, image any kind of HDR image you want right now I'm using a simple JPG image but definitely the using of HDR image will give you some more extra um, uh, extra uh, I mean level of detail and just change it to the spherical because that's well it will kind of flatten out and okay so leave this so now uh, where I'm going to use this this image uh, go to the render settings and under the settings sorry under the V-Ray you will get uh, uh, environment V-Ray environment under the V-Ray environment you will see reflection refraction environment override now that's where just switch it on and you just drag and drop this instance so that's it I've, you have already done that uh, done uh, done the uh, you know the um, glass thing already just I'm using it uh, for for betterment of this uh, glass looking thing so now you can see the environment is actually coming out let's see you can you can have the the color of the environment it's actually reflecting sort of but yet uh, some areas are there that are still using you know, black splotches because uh, we don't have any kind of reflection around going so for that thing just to uh, make sure that you have uh, switch on a few amount of reflection because the glass material do some reflect a few few parts so in that way you can uh, yes that's way so in, in that way you, you will give it the ultimate uh, you know uh, the touch that we are actually always look for the for the glass materials so in that way it's almost done I see it's okay so uh, you can put this uh, material into you know you know any kind of object that you really wanted to like uh, if you want to put it on a teapot you can uh, have that because just increase the smoothness level and just apply it so that's it and hit render so it will it will give you the uh, final output uh, in a very uh, realistic manner and it's so simple you can see I just use two things one is a reflect refraction I just uh, uh, pull it down to the white and I use uh, some of the reflection and definitely one uh, environment image uh, which has been put it into the uh, reflection refraction override which is under the uh, you know V-Ray tab of uh, your render settings and I just drag and drop this HDR image. Sorry, the VR HDR. You can use these HDR images. In this case, I have used uh, only JPG image. You can use HDR image for better result. So that's it. Now, uh, <coughs> for betterment of this uh, uh, shadow, uh, you can uh, definitely uh, one can ask about what is what about the shadows and everything that actually. Uh, right now, I'm not going to use the uh, caustics and one. I'm just uh, uh, just uh, show you how to increase or uh, sorry, how to decrease this uh, you know splotchiness or the uh, noisy effect that is coming out. This is very simple. Select the light and you have your you know uh, light subdivisions. The sampling subdivisions are there. If you increase your uh, subdivisions, it will uh, you, you can see your uh, those those noise will go definitely but definitely uh, that will also uh, increase some of the render time but that, that uh, worth it I mean that's uh, literally do okay just uh, hate render for for one sort of uh, example fine and now after uh, uh, just uh, completion of the render I'm going to use a uh, render region so that I can uh, you know test how much it's actually gone so just using this much of area 
fine now just cross it and then because you don't if you don't cross this it, it, it will not gonna activate so say 20 and hit to render so now you can easily see after using 20 that has been gone the the, the spots has been reduced uh, the noise has been reduced in, in a very great number and if you increase uh, the subdivision more then it will it will definitely enhance the enhance the like uh, the entire result that's it so and that way you can uh, take your uh, render output in a, in a very next level so that is a that is a way you can use some uh, you, know, you, you can create a very easy way to create any kind of glass you know, refractive material or reflection or any kind of ray trace material you use it always take render uh, render time and just they are very very uh, uh, take time in, in terms of rendering and so you have to put it very cleverly so that you are not going to misuse it misuse any kind of any part of it so like using the subdivisions if you if your subdivision uh, do it uh, do the ultimate output for for let's say 15 don't you overuse it because that will and each and every uh, time you are going to you know uh, using subdivisions uh, the sampling rates go high so that's why that's why the rendering time also uh, also took more more time so be careful about that and uh, hope you uh, understand all the steps this is very very easy easy steps so hope you enjoy this and uh, uh, please uh, like our, our Facebook page and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay update because uh, that's where you found the, uh, the most recent one recent tutorials so <coughs> uh, also follow our Twitter account so you can stay updated uh, regarding the news or upcoming events that is uh, upcoming uh, new tutorials coming out so I hope you enjoy this and thank you very much so that's it let's uh, end this uh, render because it's taking too much time because I've increased my subdivision level to a greater amount oops it's taking too much time. okay fine so that's it that's the final result that is uh, coming out and I hope you enjoy this and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like our Facebook page and follow the tutors so thank you very much